Hello, this is Brother Cromer from, from the Math Department here at BYU-Idaho. And this is a supplement of the Lesson 17 video dealing with uh, descriptive statistics or describing categorical data and the distribution of sample proportion. And so these are the four items we'll cover in the supplemental video. We'll be covering items you need for SPS or using SPSS for your uh, homework. And the first one is dealing with weight cases. The second one is pie chart. The third item is bar chart, and lastly, it's Pareto charts. So first, let's start with weight cases. So there's two different types of data that you will be dealing with with categorical data. The first type of data is dealing with data where each row of your data represents a person. Okay. Now this here represents what's called raw data. Now with this type of data, you just you run you run a, a pie graph or a, par, a pie chart or a bar graph like you normally would. You don't have to do anything prior to it. However, taking the same data and, and creating what's called summary data, where we have each row representing a group of people. So this is the same data, but now what we do is, is that we have um, each row representing a group of people, and there's a count. And you can tell that this that's, uh, a data summary data typically, or a clue in, is if you have a column that's called count or frequency. And so if you see that, that's a clue in that you need to do something which is called weight cases. So the first commands we'll do in SPSS is weight cases. So if we do data, weight cases, we're going to weight cases by count. Okay. So we put the count variable and the frequency variable, and uh, and the frequency variable, and then we click on OK, and then um, SPSS the output gives us this. So now we're going to weight cases by count. Now going forward, we can do it now either way. We can either use the, this data here. Or we can use this data or this data here, it doesn't matter now. Now that we've weighted cases with the summary data, we can go forward with all the rest of the commands using either data set. So what I'll do is now let's do pie chart. And I'll use the, the summary data. So now that we've weighted cases. So now what we're going to do is that we're going to do graphs, legacy dialogue, and we're going to do, and I what was that we were going to do first? We're going to do a pie chart first. So I'm going to do graphs, legacy dialogue, and we're going to do a pie. And then define, and so then what I'm going to do is, is that the we define groups by reason. So we're going to take the reason variable and put it under define slices by. And then if we click on OK, then we'll have um, we'll have output here. Now we have the reasons for listed here, but uh, we can also do some other things as well. So if you double click, double click to activate, double click on the, what's called the chart editor. Click on Elements and then show data labels. What you'll see here is the percentages representing in each representing each slice. Then we can go over here under this Properties window and click on Count, and then put that up here. And so it's from not not displayed to displayed. And then click on Apply. And then if you look to the left now, you see the counts there. And so that's what you can do with the pie chart there. Okay. So then the next thing what we'll do is is that now we'll cover is bar charts. Say so bar chart. So what we'll do is now we're going to go to the same summary data, and so what we'll do is we'll go to graphs, legacy dialog, bar chart, and I'll just click on. We'll just do a simple bar chart. So we'll click on define, and then we will click on reasons again, and we'll put that now in the category axis. So if we put it here, click on OK, and then you'll have a bar. You'll have a bar chart here. Okay. So now. Let's do this. I'm going to double click within here, double click to activate, so that gives us the chart editor. Now I'll click on element, show data labels again. Now I have counts. Now the counts are displayed. So if I want percentages displayed, I'll click on percent, click on the up arrow here, then click on apply, and then you'll have the percentages as well too. Okay. And then if you click it out of the chart editor, you'll see it here in the SPSS, similar to what you have here with the pie chart. Okay. Lastly, what we'll do is we'll do a Pareto chart. It's basically a bar chart with extra steps. So I'll do so. I'll do this again, where I'll go to graphs, legacy dialog, and I'll go to um, bar chart, and I'll click on define again. And so reasons is here. So I'm just going to click on OK. So now what I'll do is that I'll double click on this on the um, double click on the, the the bar chart. Double click on this again, so I get a chart editor. Okay, or properties, I should say. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the right and, and select this, and I'm going to click on statistics. And then I'm going to click on this down here. Instead of ascending, I'll put on descending. Click on apply, and then there you have it there. And this is a Pareto chart where it's the most frequent bar goes to the far left, and then 
and then it and then it goes in ascending order like you see right here. And that would be a Pareto chart. It's like a bar chart, but now you're having it now in descending order. And that's a Pareto chart. And that concludes the video for lesson 17 dealing with SPSS commands.